Hey y'all, you've been waiting months at this point to be able to hear about my first visit to South Korea. Well, it's kind of hard to take the videos that I've had and make a cohesive story. So I figured the best way is to take you through my days there in sequential order, but just little random snippets of it before I actually sit down and start telling stories. I will go day by day of the four days that I was there and give you the highlights of that. But at the very least, you can get a start to finish of my entire experience through this little video. So I hope you enjoy part one. And then I will upload uh, day one, two, three, and four as the remaining videos in this series. So enjoy. Bye, y'all. Okay, we just checked into the room. It's a really cool bus ride in, seeing how many high rise apartments it is and whatnot. But we're downtown. Check it out. Uh, hopefully, I'm showing you a good view because, you know, we can't turn the camera around in Instagram. Or maybe we can't. Hold on. Much better. Definitely a sign that I very rarely use the camera on here. So yeah, we're all tired, we're dehydrated, and ready to eat, so hopefully I'll find some food quickly. This is like really awesome. <laughs> so I've had Guinness in North America, I've had them in the United States, and there's a little bit of a bitter aftertaste after the fact. However, had a Guinness here at Watering, what is this, the Watering Ice House or Ice Texas Box? Texas Ice uh, Ice Bar. Texas Ice Bar here in Seoul, South Korea. And my Oni, who has been to Ireland, who knows what an authentic Guinness is supposed to taste like, she said this is comparable to it. There's no aftertaste. It's very smooth from start to finish. There's minimal foam. It's so good. And I messed around and came to a beer bar and got freaking Moscato. I didn't know. But this is from South South Africa so I tried something different this was awesome <laughs> okay take a drink enjoy it's, it's just smooth it's a smooth beer like you've got to have a Guinness if you don't know what a Guinness is you've got to have one but not in North America if you can help it <laughs> 9 20 p.m seoul standard time we have had entirely too much mcju and soju and now we're drinking coffees and so we're that we can, <laughs> <laughs> so that we can drink more alcohol exactly we're currently trying to determine if we're trying to level behind us if it's a christmas tree do you see that do you see that we don't quite know it's what it christmas is but this is tree. delightful let me show you the water and then i'll turn the video off look at that you guys this is incredible. Soul tour on Friday. I'm trying not to dance in the middle of the plaza. Can't help myself. <laughs> I'm still sleepy. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Waiting on the sun. Fuck competition. We gon' be pop up no bass and I'm born fly. No going fashion, watch your book on lingo. Going patient, that's sick. You'll dope like the combination of a big pill, cold, molly, nova cane, so they get epic. Yeah, fuck about the note of recognize. Bird! Okay, well, honestly, what I failed at is the fact that I'm in a very densely populated city, so seeing the sun come up actually wasn't going to work out too well. But, I mean, at least I got a good morning walk in and saw Popeyes, and that kind of choked me up a bit. Uh-oh. This is as loud as I've heard the city. Where are you going? I don't know what my excitement is about you see how quiet it just got <laughs> isn't that crazy okay well i guess i'm gonna head back now i don't know and try to get myself some breakfast it's not too uh, well no they don't start serving breakfast until 7 a.m what am i gonna do for another hour is that a burger oh my god I 
spending hog day almost more than half of the day i've got allergy issues going on everything that could happen is happening and currently i'm walking around because i was late for my seven o'clock and we double booked and my five o'clock ran over so then when i got to my six o'clock my six o'clock ran late <laughs> But that's okay, because my 6 o'clock is cool, because look who it is! <laughs> there. So, it's like 1 a.m. I'm out with my Tongseng, who I have not seen in two years! Look at him! Alex! <laughs> So, so he's he's taking a smoke right now before we go down and do Norevang. He told me he wants me to sing in English. So that means he has to sing in Hangul. But I'm very excited to see him. I have not seen him in so long. He is the world's next famous hairstylist. You just watch, you yeah. watch, you watch. <laughs> Day three. We are shopping and I can't handle it because the things would are all... Would you have found it for three bucks anywhere in the U.S.? I, I would have possibly not found it for three bucks anywhere in the U.S. But look at all of this magic. Just lanes and lanes of stuff for me to fully waste my money on. I'm so eager to do this. <laughs> I'm extremely determined to get up there. We just got off of the itty bitty teensy weensy. Just crazy! Leave me alone. I ain't even acknowledging it right now. This is the only moment I was waiting on. Aside from seeing Poussin. Okay, I didn't order the lock that I wanted, but this one is just as good. Read what it says, McGuala's. See? We totally made it. So I found a clean spot amongst all the other ones. Not English friendly. Huh? Not English friendly at all. Which is really awesome if you have time to wander around, but not English friendly. In there too. There's squid. It's turbo actually. It's big. Okay, so there's a bug on my banchan. I don't quite know what it is, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So it's roasted. It's smoky, grainy. Slightly offended. Slightly offended. By After walking all around this place, um, <laughs> we finally decided we're gonna do the Somek tradition of beer and fried chicken on a Friday. So we are hanging out at bar 3.15, which is in this really, really difficult area to find. But from what we heard from the reviews, it's the bomb.com.